Hi everyone, uh, we are back with another uh, feature walkthrough video. This one in particular is uh, designed for franchise based businesses. So if you are a franchise and you've taken the first step to empower your team with HubSpot as your tool of choice for sales, marketing and support, uh, with the features I'm going to walk you through today, you can uh, take it a step further and uh, give them the power of business messaging, a powerful channel for engaging customers to all your franchise owners from, go from zero to 100 effectively and efficiently. So this is somewhat of a detailed walkthrough. If you're watching on YouTube, you can uh, go back to the previous sections as needed by clicking on the timestamps in the description. So in today's walkthrough, I am going to walk you through first as kind of a, a parent uh, organization or the HQ, how you can quickly get set up, get up and running with sales message and HubSpot. Once you've done that, how you go about inviting your franchisees one by one into sales message so that they can take advantage of the features that sales message offers. How you can manage subscriptions, payments, and plans, whether you want to do it in a centralized or a decentralized manner. And then we'll go, go a little bit deeper into the day-to-day -day management of the tool with uh, once all your franchise owners are onboarded from creating a template organization to cloning and mapping HubSpot teams to how contacts and lists are handled. So again, it's much somewhat of a detailed walkthrough. Feel free to uh, go back to the sections that you uh, feel more interested in. All right. So... Uh, the first step, uh, obviously, is if you are not a sales message user, is to start your free trial. And once you do that, connecting to sales message is actually quite simple. So you will navigate to the organization settings uh, in the main app, and then you will be able to integrate to HubSpot as long as you have the login as the admin of HubSpot. You should be able to do that. Uh, I'm not going to walk through that in detail in this video, but there is, if you go to help.salesmessage.com and uh, HubSpot integration, there is a detailed guide that will walk you through how to integrate into um, HubSpot with all the details that you need to know. Now, as a franchise um, who is using uh, uh, HubSpot, you are most likely taking advantage of the HubSpot Teams feature, feature to represent all your franchise owners across whatever regions you operate in. So um, I, I have a kind of a simple example here in our demo environment of like multiple regions and then multiple uh, franchises under each region. So the key, uh, the thing here is doesn't matter what hierarchy you have we have an easy way to map that into a sales message and extend um, the application, the tool sales message to a, a, some or even all of your franchises without changing any of your structure here in HubSpot. So what does that look like? So once you are up and running as kind of the parent um, uh, organization, the HQ, if you will, uh, in sales message, your first step will be to come here to uh, organizations and then start creating organization. So an organization here, you can think of it as one of your franchise owners. So once you go about that, here is where it gets really powerful. You can use your integration, in this case, HubSpot, to map to existing HubSpot teams. So as you can see here, all the teams that I just showed here are visible for you from within the application. And then if you go about, let's say, for example, under at Miami, we go ahead and create a third team a or a fourth team here, Miami 4, right? and I save that. Uh, if you go back here and just refresh, uh, you'll be able to see this new team is here for you, right? So you select a team uh, that you want to, you know, invite to sales message. You type in the email address of, let's say, the franchise owner or whoever is handling marketing for the uh, for that regional team. Uh, and from there, we give you a lot of flexibility, actually added flexibility for franchise based businesses to you know make this scaling this very easy for them. So let's 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 walk through that. You can go about first either with a stand one of our standard plans. And if you have different franchise uh, owners with you know higher usage than others, you can customize which plan you give to them 
based on their size, on their need, on their market base, on your understanding of how much uh, monthly usage they would need. Or you can work with our team for us to craft a custom plan for you that will apply for all your franchise owners. This is a great option for you to take advantage of volume discounts, whereby you will go uh, get one uh, purpose-built plan for the company as a whole. So that's kind of the first level of flexibility you take, you get uh, as you start to onboard these franchises to uh, fr franchise owners to sales message. The next level of flexibility is uh, dependent on how you manage your marketing budget. Is it centralized whereby there is a certain budget and then that is used to, you know, extend tools and and uh, and softwares for all the franchise owners or it's decentralized where each franchise owner they have their they take care of their own marketing spend. So you can either pay right away, right, as you invite the organization, or you can offload that to them and have them pay upon sign up. So once you go ahead and create that organization, what's going to happen is the franchise owner or whoever you listed here as the responsible for this application uh, will get an, uh, an invite. They'll be able to pick a sales message number and then they'll be up and running with the sales message tool already integrated into their instance of HubSpot. So one of the key questions uh, we get asked when it comes to franchise businesses is how are contacts and lists going to be managed given that uh, centrally you might have a lot of lists and contacts, but each franchise owner has their own list or their own subset of contacts. And that's one of the things that we put a lot of thinking into to make it as streamlined uh, as possible. So let's take a look at example here in our demo environment. We have a whole bunch of lists you know, uh, map to um, a variety of teams, right? As the parent uh, organization, you have access to all of those lists. So if I go to settings here under the HubSpot integration, one of the features we have here is the ability to import and sync your HubSpot lists into sales message. That way you can later send a broadcast or like a one-on-one -on -one messages based on your HubSpot contacts. But as the parent organization here, if you select uh, your HubSpot list, as you can see here, you have access to everything, right? But let's say you have already started creating organizations and you have, let's say, invited, uh, let's pick a team here, for example, Dallas One, right? Uh, as you can see, they have four lists dedicated to them in HubSpot. So let's see what that looks like in sales message. So I believe I've already mapped this team to Dallas one. I'm just gonna quickly confirm. Uh, no, that's Seattle four and maybe this one. So uh, yes, Dallas one. So one of the things we give you the ability to do as kind of a, the central team managing sales message is the ability to assume organizations, which is uh, um, if you, um, if you will, it gives you the ability to remote in into that uh, account. Uh, for training purposes to see how well they are using the application, but also you can um, you can uh, you know give them tips, uh, build templates for them, see how well they're using the application. So uh, on their view of the application, if I go here and do the same thing I did for the parent organization and uh, try to import HubSpot lists. So as you can see, they only have access to the four lists dedicated to them here in HubSpot. That way uh, you have the peace of mind that there's not gonna be uh, headbutting again, you know, between all the different uh, franchises against for, for the contacts and you know, the leads for the sales reps, all that is taken care of. So yeah, so that's one of the ways uh, these franchise uh, features make it easy for you to uh, get up and running and scale quickly with Sales Message and HubSpot together. So last but not least here, if you go back to the uh, to the organizations, uh, I'm gonna stop assuming this organization and go back to the parent account where you can do everything, literally everything from here. So you have the ability to create a template organization. Let's say you wanna create uh, one organization that have um, the saved replies, the keywords, and I'm gonna leave links uh, to all of these in the description below so that you know uh, some of the features that are available for you. Um, but once you do that, you can start to clone that organization. That way you quickly onboard new franchises to the you know latest and greatest template, if you will. 
um, and then uh, it just makes that process uh, more efficient. You can also refresh uh, the team members and the contacts. Team members here is essentially who are the users who are on this team. Uh, when you refresh the team members, what ends up happening is that the contacts owned by these team members are going to be accessible for this organization and not for any of the other ones, right? Uh, you can also, yeah, as you scale, you can see any pending invites. You can revoke the invites or resend the link so that to for you to ensure that you know your franchise owners are taking advantage of the application. So that's uh, the franchise feature uh, for um, franchises who are on HubSpot and would like to use business uh, messaging through sales message. Uh, by all means, reach out to our team. We can help you get started and grow quickly and take advantage of this awesome feature. Uh, and yeah, if you have any questions, uh, by all means, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you so much and have a nice day.